It's time for Agro Buzz. You know we do it every Wednesday. You know I love playing in the dirt and finding out what's happening with our agriculture and fisheries sector. And today, we are going to be speaking with our friends from the Agro Investment Corporation. So, let's jump right in. Did you know Jamaica has eight agro parks, Derek, and nine production zones? Mm, that's a lot. No, don't. Yeah. They're actually managed by the Agro Investment Corporation and they play an integral role in ensuring our food security because the agriculture value chain has so many aspects. So Agro Invest Corporation integrates them and that includes pre-production, post-harvesting, marketing activities, everything. Only things. So we have Owen Scarlett, who's acting CEO at Agro Investment Corporation, Agro Invest, on the phone to chat with us this morning. Hello, Mr. Scarlett. Scarlett, how you do? Good morning, Paula and Porta. Good morning to you and good morning to your listeners and good morning to Derek also. Mr. Scarlett, oh. you have dirt under your fingernails? <laughs> of course, of course. I've been passionate in this thing for a very long time. Checking if you stayed in the office or if your hands are getting <laughs> dirty because, boy, I tell you, there's a lot of managing to do when it comes on to these zones and Parks. So, I'd love for you to explain for us first the difference between the two. What's an agro park and what's a production zone? Well, first, you know, the, and, and as, and the agro investment corporation, we are here to facilitate agribusiness investment. So, on our flagship program, we have the agro park and production zone. So, the agro park have a significant in advantage over the production zone. The agro park have some level of infrastructure development in terms of road some level of irrigation infrastructure and some level of facility that we have for farmers to understand and, and washing up of their produce. But of course, we need to further advance in terms of cold storage and also some dry storage. And within the agropark, we also have, we, are, we provide technical support there and we also have some level of clustering our, our farmers. Within the production zone, we term of limited infrastructure. This is where we have large chapter of land, but is not fully developed in terms of road drainage, marketing facility. We don't have all the human capacity to fill it, but it has potential to develop into all the park. Ah, so it's like a, 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 it will be in the future. In the future. The, in the Valente. Future. Ah, right. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so, so where are these parks and zones? Well, we, these parks are located from the east. We have the planting garden river over there in St. Thomas, the Yellow Fargo Park over there in St. Thomas. We have Amity Hall in St. Catherine, Ebony Park and Spring Plain in Clarendon, our newly established Mangrago Park over there in, 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 in Clarendon. And we have the New Forest Duff House that is located by the border of Manchester and Central Sudet. New Forest what? Duff House. New Forest and Duff House. Slash Duff House. Oh, Duff House. Oh, okay. Duff-house. I think you said right. something like Duck House. <laughs> <laughs> Duff House. Yes. Okay, okay. Right. I got it. And and if you look at now where we are coming out of the pandemic, how has the production been like last year compared to this year? Well, we can see significant improvements you know, since 2020, 21, where we're just over 3.6 million kg in terms of production. And come to 21, 22, we were just over 10.1 million kg in terms of production, which is a significant increase of 178% increase in production. So you can see that the Farmers slash investors are basically putting out the, the effort and they are basically contributing to the development of the agriculture sector. And they are going a wide number of vegetables, condiments, spice, fruits, and root tubers that have contributed to this increase in production. And of course, you are now helping them with the marketing and all of those other things to complete the chain. Well, yeah. Yes, so within that, within the, 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 the production zone and agro park, we have what we call the cluster coordinator. They are doing the, the market link, the market linkage for the farmers. So they, you know, we want the, the agro park to be a part of market gym. So the, the, the market, the cluster coordinator provides timely information to the investors what produce is basically there for the market, and, and also to link the agro processors, the, the tourism industry, the exporters. So they provide that information so the, the investors 
basically drive towards that 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 that, that, that position. So I'm going to get you in trouble now. Which is your favorite <laughs> of the parks? <laughs> favorite of the park? Well, all the parks are favorite, you know, but yeah. in the new forest, the folks, they are basically, you know, they, they are, they are, you know these, they have, these farmers, the culture of there, they are performing very well. You know, as you know, they do a lot of Kelian time in that era, a lot of watermelon, the cucumber in that particular environment. So, and we have Grace Kennedy who buys a lot of produce from those farmers within that region. So they are doing pretty well within that, that region. Well, I would like you to take me the next time you're going down there. I want to see. Of course, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do. Thanks for chatting with us, Mr. Scarlett. <laughs> Thank you, dear Paul and Porter. All right, folks. <laughs> we've been listening to Mr. Scarlett. And it's, of course, from Agro Invest Corporation. The Agro Invest Corporation, as we talk about what's happening with the parks and with the production zones. Let me say it properly. He is acting chief executive officer for the Agro Investment Corporation. Did you know that among the products provided by Agro Invest are the development of global gap certified agro parks and investment profiles for crops, sourcing of funding for agricultural development and sourcing development and leasing of agricultural lands? I had to read all of that. Can you tell? <laughs> In other words, they do a whole bunch of things to support the farmers. And for further information on AgroInvest, you can check their website, agroinvest.gov.jm. Don't forget to follow Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries on Facebook. Check them out on Twitter and Instagram at M-O-A-F-J-M. And join us here at 94 FM on a Wednesday. Next Wednesday, AgroBuzz. This has been AgroBuzz. My favorite, as usual. And you keep safe. Until next week. And being corrected is not Duff House, it's Duff House as in.